Hello, party people. I am at Costco right now. I haven't been here in quite some time. We need to stock up. There's a bird just hanging out right there. So anyway, our house is almost bare. Wentworth's birthday party is this weekend, so I need to get some snacks for that. I also am finally going to get a Costco chocolate cake. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. I'm gonna show you around Costco, show you the new stuff that they probably have. If, do they have anything new out? They always have something new out. I'll also show you the grocery haul and then food prep if we get to it. strong hand the stereo is literally blaring i i also need to get some christmas gifts and maybe i'll get one for myself air fryer's on sale for 50 bucks vitamix is on sale for 300 normally four oh saw this last time i came to costco almost bought it for alex it's a neck and back massager apparently it's normally 150 it's on sale for 100 right oh gosh it's heavy I don't know, is it really magic? Wait, is it called magic hands? Yes, it is. They have a bunch of boring stuff. This blow dryer is $70, normally 100. And you know what I saw last time? The Revlon blow dryer and brush in one that everyone's raving about. So maybe we'll see that this time. What is this? Remix your, <gasps> what is this? We got a new shower head last time for Christmas. This is normally $190. It's on sale for 150. Ooh. Wait, what is this, a speaker? A speaker in your shower? That's it, that's it guys, mic drop. Oh, I almost bought these for Eleanor's classroom celebration. $19 for this tray of holiday cookies, 84 cookies. <laughs> Makes me so happy. I might just buy this for us. 84 cookies, that'll last me the day. These gift cards are great too. Um, normally they give you a little sale. So like $80 for four $25 gift cards. So scream and deal right there. If you're sending someone a gift, I feel like this would be perfect, which I almost think so many of us are sending more gifts than usual this year. It's like conspiracy theory, right? The post office is trying to get us to use it more often. <laughs> Ooh, honey baked ham. Ooh, a gift of a membership. Oh my gosh, does it come with a tote bag? Worth it. I wish I had a Costco tote bag. Oh, here it is. This is what I've heard so much about all over the gram. Longer lasting styles. Interesting. Do we believe it? Oh my gosh, it's on sale. I guess today's the day I'm gonna get it for my daughter. One step volumizer and hair dryer. Normally $45, it's on sale for 30. Here it is down here and, oh, this isn't heavy. I picked it up in Sephora. Don't, let's not talk about my Band-Aid right now. Uh, maybe it had batteries in it or something, but at Sephora or maybe Ulta, whatever, one of those stores, I lifted it up. Maybe it was weighted down because they didn't want anyone to steal it. I don't know. It's pretty lightweight though is what I'm trying to get at. I also guess I should share with you, they have Legoland, movie tickets, Nutra system, Build-A-Bear gift cards, uh, Xbox, PS4, all the stuff, Nintendo Switch. Super, super, super. I've shared the toys with you in a previous video, but I thought this was worth mentioning. Just one more time. These Magnaformers, guys, $30 for 41 pieces. Scream and deal, no joke. We've also seen bikes like this pretty much everywhere. Echelon, all right. This one is 1,000 big ones. Oh wait, what is this one then? Oh goodness, is this the same thing? No, it's different. $384.99 for this one. What is the difference? This enormous basketball hoop is $300. You could buy three of those bikes. No, you could buy one of those bikes and three of the, <laughs> whatever, you get what I'm trying to say. And then this was pretty cool too. This is, oh my gosh, this one's only 150. I almost passed these right up, $24. I think I saw someone wearing these the other day and I thought, oh my gosh, I wonder where she got them. Well, now I know, stinking Costco, where else? They always have a lot of kitchen products here. Ooh, that Cuisine Art is on sale for 150. I don't always see a KitchenAid here or maybe I just glaze over it. It's 329, not on sale. Ooh, and then this. Immersion Blender, $35. 
some new water bottles for the water bottle fanatics out there. Oh my gosh, it comes with a straw, two different color sets, $13, normally 17. These are really sweet too. First time I've seen them, you get a three set of trays for $20. For here too, these cozy sweaters, two different sizes. It looks like they're running out of sizes actually. Uh, it's only $10. Okay, these are fun. Color changing to go cups uh, with lids, I'm assuming. Do they all have lids? Looks like it. $12, normally $15. And then they have these thermos mugs on sale, normally $20 for $15 today. Last year, I think I got every single one of Alex's gifts from, from Costco. So they have this uh, wrench set. Is this a wrench set? Oh gosh, I don't think it is. Nope. So this is a Leatherman tool. It's normally $50, whatever. It's on sale for 40. This wrench set over here is normally 18 on sale for 14. I'm really debating getting another one of these. I have two outside uh, in my lanai. It's an indoor outdoor runner. It's two feet by seven feet, $20. But they're back in stock and they have different prints. So I thought I would show you the prints. Also, they have this runner for $10. It's two by six, different quality. Just want to make sure to point that out. Oh my, mini diffusers. What on earth? Normally $9 on sale for seven. Oh, they have different uh, scents as well. Fresh strawberry, lemonade. Interesting, all right. Since we're talking about ratchets, thought I would share it. Oh, no, this is not a ratchet. It is a socket set. Well, that's how much I know about tools, 30 bucks. This guy is 100, it has ratchets and whatever the other thing we were talking about. What were we talking about? Ratchets and uh, wrenches? I don't know. Ooh, okay, this is a solid gift, $100 for this. And can you see on his desk, you can sit down or you can elevate it to a standing position. Cool, right? Oh my gosh, Jessica made this banana nut bread, $9. This thing is a monstrosity. Right next to it are some salted caramel pecan mini cakes. Caramel, caramel, tomato, tomato. Oh boy, here's a new one. Chocolate filling, hazelnut shavings, mini donuts, seven bucks. This is exciting. I actually bought it a while ago because I was worried it would just sell out really quickly. Brioche bread, $5 for this entire loaf. And then they also have mini brioche loaves for $4.89. This is what dreams are made of. I wait all year for this. $15 for a traditional fruitcake. Well, it's what my dreams are made of. Does anyone else like fruitcake? Look what else I see. Some peppermint bark, and this is $10. Or you can make it yourself for 20. Costco's always coming up with new dinner ideas. So now they have a spinach and cheese cannelloni. It is four seventy-nine a pound. So they average around 15, 16 bucks. Bon appetit. This is one of my favorite things about the holidays at Costco. They have this cannelloni kit. Did I just say cannelloni? Mm -hmm. uh, can I read it? Cannoli. And it is delicious. You never run out of the filling, which is literally the best part, $11. I shouldn't get one, but like also I should, you know? Oh, they also have some macaroons, $15.79, and then some mousse cakes for nine. Are these normally frozen? They have French cheese bites for $11.49. Ooh, creme brulee, getting all fancy, eight bucks. I have been eyeing one of these for quite some time. I think the bag used to be blue. It's $9, which isn't much. I mean, it's massive. Do I need it though? No, I don't, so, man. You people. This is the best chicken Costco has ever sold. $14 for a very large bag. It tastes just like Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets. I am completely stocked up. You know what? I'm gonna grab a couple more. I'm afraid that they're going to sell out and then they're not going to bring it back in stock anymore. So good. We've got some nice gift sets. This one's 26. This one is 20. I have no idea what's inside. Oh, a bunch of cool stuff. And this is for someone you really love. It is. $50. They have so many amazing book sets too. Small kids, big kids, adults, they have it all and very reasonably priced. I mean, books are expensive, but you know what I mean. Oh, look, Harry Potter. I actually thought about adding this to like an appetizer video I plan to make. Brie tartlets, 24 brie and berry tartlets and then 12 sweet red pepper tartlets. Guys, $13, that's it. Look what I found right here in Tampa, Florida. 
Famous Dave's Cornbread Mix. Never tried it before. It's $5.79. Already has an asterisk, so we know it's not going to stay around for very long. Like this stuff that's been here forever. Paleo Pancake Mix. <gasps> the asterisk. Glad to see you go. This stuff is so good. I feel like I have to tell you about it. I'm not buying any because there's not much that comes in here and it's $7. Too rich for my blood, but if you are rich, you go ahead and buy those. They're delicious. $9. These only come around during the holiday season. I am a sucker for a stroop. I'm gonna refrain though this time. Oh my God, they're so good. I'll eat like 20 in a sitting, the whole box. Look at here. My family is obsessed with these, the Madras lentils. And then I see this, Chana Masala. Oh my gosh, never tried it. I don't think today's the day. I'm running out of space in my cart, but definitely getting these. I did not even know this was a thing. Retinol body wash, a three pack on sale, $15, normally 19. I'm, I think I'm at that age. You know what I mean? I also feel like this is worth mentioning. One of these shampoos at Target is $12. Normally 16 here for two, but it's on sale right now, two for 12. Well, one box, but you get two. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I've been thinking about doing these. My teeth are so sensitive though, so I haven't. They're on sale right now, 45 normally, 35 for sale price. Wait, wait, what's 15? Oh, the stupid toothpaste. I don't want that. I've been wanting to get new glasses for a while. Also, there's like paint on my mask. I'm a mess. What do we think about these? I actually love them. What else can we find? It's a no for these. Ooh, I like a clear frame, but I feel like they're a little wide for my face. Oh, maybe not. They look, I don't know. I don't, it's so hard picking out glasses. I've been doing this for like two years saying, oh, I need new ones. I just don't buy them. Well, they couldn't tuck these farther in the corner. I've been seeing these all over Instagram, these makeup erasers. I don't know. Okay, $19 for I, a whole bunch. Ooh, one for each day of the week. Sweet. It smells so good right here. Last time I came, they had a ton of poinsettias out. $20, and these are just blooming. It's also like a, a mixture. It's not just poinsettia. These just scream the holiday for me, right? definitely think it's time to check out now bye so much for keeping that space clutter free whatever uh we're home i got all of the groceries out on my counter i spent more money than i thought i got a couple of gifts i maybe will remember to share them with you because i did not bring them inside for obvious reasons maybe it's not obvious but you can think about it critical thinking skills all right i'll give you 360 maybe we'll prep some veggies i didn't buy that many veggies i did buy a ton of snacks Let's just get into it. Okay, first of all, first of all, this is amazing. Okay, so it's been a busy day. Alex asked me to grab some hot dogs for the family, and I saw this chicken bake. I think that's what it was called. Never had it before. Look at this bacon, chicken. I don't know what else is in there. Some kind of dressing. Oh, I almost, I mean, the thing was probably this large maybe even bigger. It was massive. I ate way more than I wanted to. Probably ate my day's worth of calories just on the drive home. No regrets. If you find yourself at Costco and you want a snack, make sure to get this. All right, moving on to the produce section. Makes me feel like I'm healthy, but then eating that definitely doesn't. By the way, these uh, dishes are clean. That's obviously dirty. It's a soaker. That's a soaker in there. All right, moving on. Finally gonna have my Instant Pot back because I'm finally washing the dish. I got some grapes. These, I hope, are crunchy. I only like crunchy grapes. Who likes a soggy grape? Hands down, no one. I also got a couple bundles of cucumbers. Alex has been juicing a lot lately, so I feel like two packages is good because I can eat some with my salads. Also, the kids really like cucumber. Oh, I don't know if I have a red onion. Cucumbers, red onion, feta cheese. Actually, the kids just like cucumber and feta cheese. So we can make him happy with this. I also got some avocados. You know who likes these? Meredith. Meredith really likes avocado. Although I will say she hasn't had them. Wait, are they in season? It's so hard to know when these are in season. I know they're growing on trees, but I also know you have to like leave them on the tree for, I don't know, an eternity before you can pick them and eat them. Moving on. I don't even like avocados. Do you like avocados? I feel like I'm the only one who doesn't. Green beans, it's always a staple in my house. Only got one bag. I also got some 
uh, what is that? Q celery. Mmm, a nice crisp celery. I will say, when the weather is colder, I want to eat less cold fruits and vegetables. Am I alone? Is that why I'm gaining weight during the winter time? Even though Florida doesn't really have winter. Listen, our mornings, it dips down around 50, 45, maybe. I don't know. It's a little chilly in the air. I also got some peppers. I'm a huge fan of peppers. Been loving them lately, especially in dinners, even raw. Mm. I also like to pack them in the kids' lunches, particularly these yellow ones. Delicioso. I got some baby potatoes right there. I love putting these in the oven. 450 degrees, although my oven is still kind of broken. I'm doing my best to cook in my oven, but it's it's like real. I don't want to buy a new oven. I don't want to do it. I'm so sick and tired of pouring money into this house when I'm trying to move to a bigger house. Do you feel me? Got some Brussels sprouts right here. Can't live life without the sprouts. I also got two bundles of bananas. These are big bananas right here. And they're cheap. They're like $1.39. Oh, maybe I'll put the prices up here in the corner if I don't lose my receipt. Sometimes it happens. I lost my Trader Joe's receipt last time I filmed a grocery haul. I also got a nice bundle of onions back there. We ran out of them. Broccoli florets. You guys, I made one of the best meals the other night. All of my kids were raving about it. You know what it was? Literally the easiest thing. I wish I would have known about it sooner. It literally took me like 15 minutes to put together. I just threw some broccoli florets in the microwave. What else did I have? I had some noodles and guess what? canned chicken. This was the star of the show. Can you believe it? This Costco chicken breast, I just drained it. God, it's so weird. What happened was it was just a super busy day. At the end of the day, I was like, well, what's for dinner? I don't want to eat out. I don't, I, I personally don't like spending money eating out when I have food in the house, which is always. We rarely eat out. Anyway, moving along. Well, when we do, we eat pizza and I, I'm not even a fan of pizza. Okay, moving on. So chicken in a can. You would think, oh my gosh, that's nasty, right? Well, apparently it's my kid's favorite. I just drained it. I threw it in a pot with just a little bit of oil, salt and pepper, cooked it for just a couple minutes to get the weird flavor out. <laughs> I guess they loved it. I threw it on top of some noodles with broccoli and then some sauce. I had some, I mixed like red sauce. What's it called? Prima Rosa. Sounds so fancy, but it's so simple. Okay, I also got a lot of carrots right here because Alex, I think I told you, has been juicing, so I wanted to get a lot of carrots for him to eat uh, while he juices. He said I should have got five packs of these because he can go through like one of these and just juice, I don't know, whatever. I said, well, eat that and then I can buy more. Like, you know what I mean? Okay, I also got two containers of strawberries. You know what, my kids have not been eating strawberries as much lately, and I think it's because they taste fake. Have you had a strawberry that's not in season lately? It tastes fake, it just does. It, it smells weird, it tastes for sure GMO, so I don't know, maybe that's why they're not eating them as much. It's definitely why I'm not eating them as much. Also, I'm barely eating breakfast these days. You know what I mean? I just skip straight to lunch. I don't know what's going on. It's totally unlike me, but that's what's happening. Uh, okay, I got some poly, poly O. Oh, the brand doesn't matter. I got some string cheese mozzarella, looks good, feels good. My kids like it, so I just keep buying it for them. Ooh, there's no RSBT hormone. Don't know what that is, but I'm happy it's not included. Cashews! This is a healthy treat that everyone likes to eat, so I decided to get it. It's the holiday season and all that, so maybe we'll make some treats with it. Oh, also, I've been thinking about making like a Christmas appetizers video or a Christmas... Oh, Oh, treats that's exactly what it is Christmas treats video I am compiling recipes if you have I've asked on my Instagram a while ago but if you have any special recipes please share them with me and I will hopefully make them in my treats video I'm gonna pick out the best of the best all right I also got some what is this called Mufa, mufalata olive mufalata that's exactly what it's called and um you know what, I feel like Costco used to have this in a larger jar so when I saw this smaller jar I thought Yes, please, because I really like it, but I don't like I don't like it enough to have twice this amount. You know what I mean? So happy about the smaller jar. I also got some bacon. This is like the best bacon. Love it. So versatile. Cook it in anything. Bacon was in that chicken bake. Oh my gosh. I'm going to try to recreate that chicken bake. I'll probably fail. All right. I also got some butter. Tis the season of making all the treats with butter. Also, the Costco cake, I thought, oh, you know what? I'll just make a chocolate cake. It's super simple to make a cake. But then I thought, 
The amount of money I spend on butter alone will buy me a Costco cake. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna get that for Wentworth's birthday party. I'm also, <laughs> oh no, lost a limb. All right, good to go. I also got some chicken. I shared this with you while I was shopping. I'm not even kidding, you guys. The best chicken I've ever had in my life is in this bag. I got two bags. Pretty sure I have like four bags in the freezer. Literally tastes like Chick-fil-A. No weird pickle taste either because I know when uh, this chicken first started coming out in the stores, I mentioned it and I was like, oh, my Costco doesn't have any yet. I heard Sam's Club has some, Walmart, whatever. I don't shop there. And then many, many of you said, oh, yeah, but it's really pickle heavy. This is not perfection. I promise you. You know what else is perfection? This stuff. Chicken and apple sausage. Uh, it's a chicken sausage. Oh, did you gather that when I said chicken? It's chicken sausage. So good. So expensive in a normal grocery store. I would never buy this on a regular basis if I had to spend, it's like five, six dollars for four links. No thank you. However, I actually don't know how many this amount of links was. It's up in the corner there, but you get five, 10, 15. 15 links for that price. It's probably a dollar a link, but they are delicious. They taste like Thanksgiving. I don't know how else to explain it. Flavorful, delicious, not spicy, yum. Moving on to the granola bars. I got some chewy granola bars right there. Those are a staple in our house, 64 of them. I also got some sun chips. I normally buy these once a year when uh, we have birthday parties. Also, I feel like it's the season of UPS man coming to our house and I recently watched our old vlog where we went to Bush Gardens and I set up a UPS box uh, like outside the door outside do you know what I'm talking about I set up like a treat box for the UPS man to get I put like waters and granola bars and sun chips and I don't know, just any snacks I had around the house just so they can have a snack while they're you know on their duty I also got some crackers the kids like these and it's just easy to toss them in my bag and go I also got some crepes these are a staple for my kids Ugh, I don't even, I don't know why I mean they're okay they're okay they're not great for adults my kids absolutely adore them I also got the cheese this is the best cheese around this is great for I mean appetizers clearly just dip a cracker in there and you're good to go but also you can use one and make like a dinner recipe it's super simple so I've done that before I'll probably do it again I also got some cheese this is a multi uh, pack cheese. I don't know what kind of cheese is in here. Swiss, something else. Oh, it says it right there. Swiss, Kobe Jack, cheddar, and Monterey Jack. Delicious. Moving on. I got some pepperoni. It finally came in stock, back in stock in my Costco grocery store. And then I got some applesauce. We ran out of this. Meredith really likes this, and it's just simple to go bring on the go, and it has great ingredients in it, so I really like it too. And then I got some multigrain tortilla chips. I always get the comment, it's tortilla. Yes, I know, I'm not a complete idiot, just halfway idiot, but I do know how to pronounce tortilla. <laughs> it's tortilla all right I also got these oh I got those because I think I have Jack's organic salsa in my fridge I'm crossing my fingers okay I'm crossing my fingers that I do I can't remember it is good I got some heavy whipping cream mostly oh for hot cocoa so the weather is dipped and it's pretty chilly I love this weather oh I'm wearing a tank top right now well in this sweater obvious reasons okay so heavy whipping cream for hot chocolate also for strawberries just saying makes everything taste better Oh, also waffles. Oh my gosh, speaking of waffles, look what they had. Bisquick pancake mix. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That's one way for me to get to eat strawberries in the morning. Pair it with a waffle. Bisquick. Thank you, Costco, for having Bisquick again. I feel like they have it never. They always have the paleo poop. Never have the Bisquick. This is my favorite. So good. You know what else they have? The, um, I don't know, that the crusties. That's always good too. I already have a bag of that. I'm almost out of it. Okay, you know what else is really good? It's like the Costco haul of my favorites. Cranberry and jalapeno chicken meatballs. I went out on a whim and I bought these. Love them. Oh my gosh, you guys, they're so good. They're not too, too spicy. And not too, too cranberry. Oh my God, it's just a perfect blend of deliciousness. All right, moving on. It's not my strong hand. Smoke pulled pork. 
that, ooh. This is another staple. I love to put this on just dinner rolls. It's easy, quick dinner. My kids love it. And you know what? My kids eat it without putting it on a roll, actually. I, Cause I didn't buy the dinner rolls again this time because my kids really don't even use it on dinner rolls. In a tortilla, it's delicious. Just plain, eat it plain, it's so good. And then, uh, speaking of pork, I got some more pork in here. How much was this? It is not 914 for how many pounds? Almost five and a half pounds of pork. And then I got this. My kids really like the triple zero, which I really like. There's zero added sugar, zero artificial sweetener, zero fat. Oh man, hold on. There's something about that. Uh oh, I watched a documentary somewhere that was like, don't get fat free because the amount of sugar that they add to it. So wait, how do they make it fat free? And here's the nutrition label. So I don't really know what's, okay, here are the ingredients. Okay, yeah, all right. So it's yogurt. Some of the other yogurt that we used to eat had like 20 grams of sugar. That's whatever, so I bought that, okay? I also got some black beans, we're running low on them, and some meatballs. This is a Christmas treat. Uh, I like to throw these in the crock pot. It's just a quickie, quickie appetizer. Yep, said it. You throw it in with some barbecue sauce and grape jelly, or I've seen where you can throw it in with cranberry sauce. So we're gonna try our hand at this. It's just, you know, you can eat it for dinner too. Why not? Obviously the Bisquick mix is here. And then some Madras lentils, family favorite. Moving to this side of the kitchen. Uh, it has become a tradition to eat chicken every time I go to the grocery store, so that's what I did. I got a little chicken here, and then I got some rolls. I'm gonna throw half of these in the freezer so they don't go bad on me. I got some Dave's Killer Bread, uh, y'all. It's been a while since I've got some Dave's Bread. Uh, it is some of my favorite, and I figured this will help me eat breakfast because that's what I like to eat for breakfast. Dave's Killer Bread, couple of eggs, bada boom, bada bam, add half a plate of fruit, and my belly is full until lunch. But now what I do is I just like snack, 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 and then it's mostly chocolate, and uh, that's just, it's just not good, you know? I also got some uh, bagels. My kids like bagels in the morning. Guess what, so do I, because it's quick and easy out the door. I also got some normal bread for the regular people in my house who don't like a bunch of seeds in their bread. And then some pretzel crisps for Eleanor and for the lunch boxes because it's a, a snack. It's a good snack. I bet you think that I should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about you and that we're good the way we are mm -hmm. But I don't know that much about you What things you like and what you don't It's not that long Since I met you for the first time mm -hmm. You know we should work it out You know we should work it out before I'm too invested. I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions, get to know you better. Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? And will you let me down? I know I feel it's something for. It kind of makes me go crazy. I know all the words to these royalty-free songs. Anyway, <laughs> you you know it's getting serious when I take the sweater off, right? Anyone else, like, not want to organize their pantry every single time they come home from the grocery store? Hands up. My hand is up. I don't know. How does it get like this? I mean, four reasons. Kids. That's that's my explanation. Probably more me when I'm doing lunches and then just shoving everything back in the pantry. But I do I will say it makes me happy when everything is all organized at the end of it. Well, you know, 80% of it is organized. Have you seen that meme? I live my life around memes. Meme Monday on Instagram, so I'm constantly scrolling through memes, picking out the good ones for all of you. So when I share them, I only share the gems, the true gems. But wait, what meme was I thinking of? Oh, it's like, 
Uh, one time I thought my life was together. That was a nice 25 seconds. <laughs> and that's how I feel because my pantry is organized for about five seconds and then my kids come in to get a snack and everything looks like Godzilla erupted in there. <laughs> okay, so another thing I wanted to mention is I always get the question, why are you washing your produce with dish soap? Well, I'm not. Well, technically I am. I don't, I feel like I've explained this so many times. It's, uh, oh crap, what kind of soap is it again? There it is, right for your viewing pleasure, right there. Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap, 18 in 1. Did you see that? It said 18 in 1. 18 different uses for this soap. You can wash your face, you can wash your pits, you can wash your pets, you can wash your floors, you can wash your produce. Oh, and your car, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Just because you can doesn't mean that you should. <laughs> Someone pointed out, and I just love it. Uh, well, I'm using it up. That's why I keep using it. Is it the best? I don't know. I will say my fruits and vegetables do last longer. I don't know if I should attribute that to the fact that I am washing them in more than water or if I am storing them in these awesome containers, which were, by the way, on sale a week ago, a few days ago. I don't know. Some time ago they were on sale. They often go on sale. I would say wait for a sale to buy them. They are pricey. At least for me. I mean, if you're rich, you go ahead. If you got money to spend, I mean, boost the economy. But I like to wait for sales. <laughs> I think I got $10 off or $5 off, somewhere around there. But, I, you know, just makes us feel better when we get a coupon. mention one thing that really does get me through my grocery shopping days and I like how we have set this little routine or how I've set this routine for myself is making this rotisserie chicken every time I go grocery shopping it's simple it is cost effective five dollars we always have leftover chicken uh, and it's delicious I don't know what they pump into that chicken but I swear it's the most delicious chicken ever Ju juicy is an understatement I will say it right there one more thing I will say, these peppers. Oh my heavens, you guys. So I've never like prepped peppers before because I always thought, oh, they're just gonna get all wrinkly and they're gonna go bad so quickly. Can I tell you, I'm hitting my knuckles together right now because I'm so excited about, they've lasted, I mean, it's been a week since I've been grocery shopping. They're still good, still crunchy, still crisp, no wrinkles. I have been enjoying them every day and I've been eating them more often because they are ready to eat. They're in my fridge, just waiting for me to open my fridge and pick them. You know what I mean? They're just waiting there. Come on, Kim, make a healthy choice. And I am proud to announce that I have been making more healthier choices because I have it prepped and ready to go. So I encourage you to do the same. The, this isn't a super fancy produce container. I got that one for like seven or eight dollars from Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, one of those places. So you don't have to buy like the super expensive ones. Uh, and, and use whatever container you have. Shoot, who cares? You know what I mean? Just do it. Cut it up and have it ready and you won't regret it. Sparkle in your eyes, some kind of shimmer in your presence, unlike no other I had met. You got me spinning out of context, not really sure what I should do.
every day When times get rough I try to tell you Something I forgot to mention when I was cutting the peppers is this knife. It got sent to me, I don't know, from the company or <laughs> if someone sent it to me as a gift. There was no card attached, but I don't know if it's because I've been so long without a sharp knife or because this knife is actually amazing, uh, but it was magical to cut everything today. So I was really impressed with it. Uh, hashtag non-spawns and also when Meredith was eating that strawberry like what has she never eaten anything in her entire life she would not let it go uh, cutest thing ever though she loves to eat and I'm happy about that hey that is it I hope you enjoyed the grocery haul and seeing everything that I got to eat well I'm going to get to eat eventually <laughs> did I meal prep for you I feel like I I can do it but also, do any of you just feel like not putting groceries away when you get home from the grocery store? That's how I feel. I feel like I put in the work, I've moved the groceries from my cart to the checkout, from the checkout to my cart, to the cart to my car, from the car to my house. Now I have to put them from my house to the cupboard. It's a lot of effort, okay? Don't even talk to me about like, the mental load it takes to actually make dinner and think about what we're eating for dinner or think about meal prepping. I definitely didn't meal prep this week. Did I say that? Mm -mm. Not this week. Maybe next. We can hope. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. If you did, subscribe. Put a little happy in your day. And I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>